Alright my friends, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today we're going to take a look at the new British Tier 7 battleship, The Rook. Now I am a member of the Wargaming Community Contributor Program and The Rook was loaned to me by Wargaming for the purposes of this review. This will not affect my evaluation of the ship and I will try to give you my honest opinion as a mediocre a player. Upon its initial release, I believe the Rook will be available in early access like they've been doing with the other lines and then later on will be a researchable tech tree ship. She is a British Tier 7 battleship with a main armament of nine 381 millimeter guns placed in three turrets in a three times three layout. She also has four times one 533 millimeter torpedoes with an 8K range, which make a strange snaking maneuver when first launched. The Rook is pretty fast for a BB and she has an engine boost as well. Overall, I think she is a pretty decent ship and I have had fun testing her. Now we're going to take a quick look at her modifications, upgrades, ammunitions, and consumables. And the captain that I have assigned to her as all these will affect the stats to come. So let's jump right into it. Equipment. These are your modifications. You do have a hull modification and a gun fire control system modification. You have four upgrade slots. Slot number one I took main armaments. Slot number two I took damage control. Slot three aiming system and slot four steering gear. For your armament you have HE, AP, torpedoes, and airstrike depth charges. Consumables. Damage control party repair party, engine boost, and defensive AA fire. Quick look at the exterior. These are the signal flags that I have mounted. All of this is about to change. Uh, these are the decorative flags here. And we have the community contributor camouflage mounted currently. Now let's take a quick look at the captain. I have a 21 point captain on this ship and this is how I have those points distributed in no particular order. Gun feeder, demolition expert, grease the gears, priority target, adrenaline rush, emergency repair expert, Concealment Expert, and Fire Prevention Expert. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't believe I really meant to check that one. That's, I mean, that's a battleship. It's going to get seen, you're firing. So I could have probably used those four points somewhere else. I think I just probably did it out of habit. But anyway, this is how I have the ship currently set up. Let's take a look at her armor layout. 16 millimeters on the front here, 26 the main portion of the deck and the armor belt with a 305 millimeter strip, 16 on the aft end plating. Let's knock all of these off and take a look at the Citadel. So yeah, the Citadel is, you know, right about water line so it's not really all that high but you still can take quite a bit of damage if you show broadside. Survivability 59,200 with a 13 percent torpedo protection. Artillery she has three times three 381 and they fire out to a range of 18.2 kilometers Maximum HE shell damage is 5,350 and maximum AP shell damage is 11,400. The reload time is 30 seconds. The 180 degree 
tra traverse time is 25 seconds. And she has a maximum dispersion 186 meters. Secondary armament 6 times 2, 113 millimeters, and 8 times 2, 152, which fire out to 5.9 kilometers. Torpedoes 1 times 4, 533 millimeters. They do a maximum damage of 15,867. They have a range of 8 kilometers at a speed of 61 knots. Airstrike score of 15. She gets two attack flights. She has an AA defense score of 67. Maneuverability, maximum speed with Sierra Mike is 33.5 knots, turning circle radius 950 meters with 11.9 second rudder shift time. Concealment, as she sits now, is 11.5 for surface detection and 10.1 for air detection. So, yeah. This is how the Rook is set up. Why don't we hop into a game and see what I was able to do. Here we go. So before we get on to the full game, I wanted to show you this snippet. This is the game I wish I would have used for this video, but I forgot to start my recording software, so I had to get it out of the replays. And you know, there's no ending, ending credits, no ending score and stuff, but yeah. I had previously damaged uh, this New Orleans. I'm gonna finish him off here. Ooh, two citadels. But yeah, at this point, um, my wife had called me and I was like, I'm in the middle of the game. So I just decided to go for it. And if I died, I died and then I could go see what she wanted but yeah I decided to go ahead and charge around the side of this island and face off with these two battleships it's a Duke of York and a New Mexico and I really don't think they were expecting me to keep coming around this island because they really weren't prepared for it. The New Mexico is just giving me like all kinds of broadside. And he paid for it with a 21,000 damage hit. And I was able to get mostly angled before he returned fire on me. Engine boost activated. But he still did some good damage. But he's not going to get a second shot. Now I'm angling toward the other one while I'm gonna finish him off. Enemy battleship destroyed. Duke York. And I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and give these torpedoes a shot. And the enemy destroyer and I could have got out of here almost unscathed. But, yeah, the enemy destroyer punished me. But, that was worth it. That was three ships in pretty quick succession there. And so, I end up retrograding and repairing three quarters of my ship's health and was able to go on kill another ship and had a pretty decent uh, score. I don't remember what it was right off the top of my head, but yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. Alrighty, we picked up Trident. We have a Gneisnell, Scharnhorst, Nagato, Repulse, and one, two, three cruisers, two destroyers, and two submarines. Ooh, yay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we're in the southeast corner. 
Construction stations. So we're going to head up, float around behind this island Good luck, at on the line between ENF and 9. And just see what we can do up in this area. I don't want to get up too far. I mean, this ship is decently uh, speedy. 30 knots or more, and if you hit engine boost, you're probably 35, 36 knots. I don't really remember. But I want to overplay my spotting here, but I am going to kind of head a little more to the east. And if I need to, I can cut a hard left and pull in behind the island. But right now, okay, well, there's a repulse, I was about to say. I only see stuff on the right hand side of the map. I mean the left hand side, but now we got two ships. That's a flint. It's basically like in an Atlanta with a smoke screen. to really do anything. Nope. Missed. Maybe I can hit this repulse. I need intelligence data. The two people aiming at me. Enemy destroyer detected. Come on, come on. Reload. Ten thousand, we'll take that. There's that flint. I get a chance to shoot him, I'm gonna try it. Enemy destroyer detected. I don't wanna burn up. Looks like he might be heading out of my range here pretty soon. So we got a Ganazanel coming in over here on the right hand side. So two battleships, a destroyer, and a sub over here. Take another shot at this repulse. Oh, hold on. Destroyer, target, target, oh yeah. If you get a chance to destroy a destroyer, Gotta take it, but evidently I missed everything. I 
I duck in here behind this island before this sub comes around here. Three depth charge hits on the sub. And I led the Ganizer now too much. Dang it. Could not have asked for him to give me a better broadside than that. And I just screwed the pooch. Come and take a look around the left hand side of this island. Affirmative. Oh, there's the repulse. Oh, submarine. Depth charge hit on the sub. I need intelligence data. And the Z thirty one killed him. Awaiting instructions. so much. Those look a little better. 9,000, we'll take that. Having a little trouble with my mouse. I when I'm double clicking, it doesn't want to fire everything. It's kind of aggravating. He is not going to stay around for me to have another shot. Engine boost activated. There he goes. Oh well. Wow. Torpedoes astern.
Let's see if we can get shots on this destroyer. Affirmative. And no. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Shot at you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it. Okay. Let's head back. Looks like the cap is getting some pressure. from the west flank. So we are speed boosting. He's for another little bit. We're running a straight line. We're 30 five knots 35.8 35 36 knots and engine speed boost boosted deactivated off. so that's pretty close I think I said 35 or 36 look here we got a Fuji Something. Got an enemy ship in the cap that's probably a sub. York is there, the destroyer is going after the carrier, so I don't know, maybe it could have been the Sharn Horse. Wasn't really paying attention, I guess it could have been the Sharn Horse. We'll see. Oh, come on. And we're pinged. We are pinged. And we didn't kill the Sean horse. And we're on fire. The ship is on fire. Okay. So there's a cruiser, a destroyer, and a submarine. Torpedoes, direct front. Woo! The brakes. So oh, many dead ahead. Dang. Hull breach. We're taking on water. Dang quickly. it! Dang it! Engine There's a sub activated. Somewhere around in here. It's a sub, a destroyer, and a cruiser pressure in the cab. Problem solved, sir. Um. Probably. Oh, I got some. Depth charge hits. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Oh no. Torpedoes, direct front. He didn't have a target lock. Oh, now he does. Dang it. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, my secondary is working on this guy. Oh, there he is. Good gracious. Torpedoes to port. Oh, 
there we go. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to port. Everybody's shooting at me. Front. Dang it, the man. The ship is on fire. Torpedoes, direct front. Pretty close game, 492. Oh, he's right behind me. Problem solved, sir. Engine boost deactivated. I know it. I'm gonna get torp. Yep. He's gonna torp me. Battleship is gonna earn the destroyer is gonna thwart me. Uh oh. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes Dang dead it. ahead. Oh, Torpedoes man. dead ahead. Turn, turn. Get two of those. Hull breach. We're taking on water quickly. Got the destroyer. We've sunk an enemy destroyer. Where's that sub? As soon as he pings me again, I'll see where he is. Can repair. Get some speed going again. There he is, right there. Solved, sir. Torpedoes to port. He didn't have a lock on me again. Torpedoes to port. Where is that cruiser? He could have probably came out and finished me off. He's hiding behind an island somewhere. So I'm giving my guys time to cap. Oh no. Dang it. Anti aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Oh, and I didn't kill him. Torpedoes to port. See the little oil slick right there? Got him. Enemy submarine sunk. Now I'm getting hydroed. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Well, if nothing else, I bought my team time to cap. Torpedoes coming in again. From the aircraft carrier. And there's the cruiser. There's the cruiser. Torpedoes to port. Woo! Man. Engine boost activated. Whew. Here my chinny chin chin right there. Okay. 380,000 credits, 10,000 XP with 1,000 free XP, 112,000 damage, three ships destroyed, hit one citadel, defended the base three times, and got nine um, depth charge hits. First place in the team. Killed the destroyer and the sub and the Fuji. Did 41,000 on the Ganiza now, 12 on the Sharn Horse. So I did spread the love around a little bit, but only came up 
with three kills. We'll take that all day. Okay, so that is a look at the Rook. I think it is my favorite out of the new British battleships. It has a more traditional layout. It's fast and the shell trajectory, the speed of the shells makes it a little bit easier for me to hit targets. So yeah, if you've liked this look at the Rook, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.